This is Allison and I'm here with the Baby Lock Solaris Vision. The Solaris Vision is Baby Lock's top of the line sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine and there is so much to love about this machine. Today we're going to be talking about the sewing features and if you're interested in the embroidery side of the machine, check out our other video which covers all things embroidery on the Solaris Vision. Now the first thing that a lot of people notice when they look at this machine is the pure size of it. We have 13 inches of throat space to the right of the needle with enhanced LED stadium lighting and it's adjustable so you can control the brightness for whatever is most comfortable for you. As you're looking at the machine behind me, I'm sure you've noticed that I still have the embroidery unit on the machine. The reason for that is when I go to the sewing side of this machine, the embroidery arm moves out of the way and basically gives me a large extension table to work with. I can sew with the embroidery unit on and it does come with a free arm cover. So if I wanna take the embroidery unit off and have the machine look and feel like a standard sewing machine, I can do that too. But this is also very comfortable to work with this much space. The bed of the machine has a frosted cover so it makes everything very easily moved around if you're working on free motion quilting or working on a project in the hoop, you're not gonna stick to the bed of the machine. Now the Solaris Vision has 1,514 different built-in stitches, utility stitches, character and decorative stitches, buttonholes, you name it, you've got it in this machine. It also comes with 17 different feet and an accessory box that holds the feet that come with it and the box also has a little bit of extra storage here in the bottom. Now of those 17 different feet, that includes a compact digital dual feed, which you'll see stitching here in a little bit, buttonhole foot, free motion quilting foot, quilt piecing foot, and the feet that you need for your garment construction. It also comes with a two thread spool stand. So as I open the lid to the machine, you'll notice that the lid goes all the way back and lays flat. That allows for my two thread spool stand to magnetically attach and stay here in the lid. So if you have threads that you typically like to use pretty commonly, whether it's the color or the type of thread, they can live here and they can be easily accessible for you in addition to your horizontal spool pin that is standard on the machine. Now when we get ready to stitch, I'm gonna place the bobbin in my bobbin case. We have a diagram here on the bed of the machine showing us the direction that the bobbin needs to be in in order to function properly and it simply drops right in and I trim my thread off and now I'm ready to thread my needle. So on the top of the machine, we have a solid line that's numbered so that we know exactly where to put our thread so that everything will stitch properly. Once I have my thread in place, I'm gonna to touch this button and the never miss automatic needle threader is gonna thread my needle every time. So now that I'm ready to stitch, let's take a look at what the machine does for us while we stitch. I have some automations I can put on here, and as you can see, we're going to be sewing a straight stitch, and the machine will let us know which foot we need to have on the machine in order to get the best result for my stitch. So we have the standard J foot, I can see my straight stitch, and let's see what these automations are going to do. So one of the features of the Solaris Vision is I don't have to touch any of the push buttons on the front if I don't want to. I can, but I can also automate these things. In my settings, we also have an option for an automatic presser foot lower. So when I push my foot onto the controller, it's going to automatically lower my presser foot for me. And then I've turned on an automatic back stitch in the beginning. And when I get through with my row of stitching, I'm going to touch my backstitch reinforcement button and it'll backstitch for me, trim my thread, and lift my presser foot. And here we have the beautiful stitches. Now one of the other things that we have built into this machine that we love in Baby Locks is the automatic fabric sensor system. So if you like to work with different types of fabrics, create different types of projects, work with thinner fabrics, sometimes thicker fabrics, this machine is going to make all the adjustments that you need to so that for you, so that you don't have to worry about the quality of your stitch depending on the type of fabric that you're working with. So I have a little bit of tissue paper here, so let's see how well the machine does with this very thin tissue paper. So it's gonna give me my same automatic back stitch, and again, without issue, 
goes through the tissue paper, and we're going to go into two layers of 10 ounce denim. And so it's going to go straight from the tissue into the denim. And then we'll even take that into four layers. And we'll use the tie off reinforcement stitch, trims my thread, and lifts the presser foot. And there's my beautiful stitching. Doesn't miss a beat and goes seamlessly from the tissue into two to four layers of 10 ounce denim. Now, as we look at the screen on the Solaris Vision, we have a lot of options. I can edit my stitch width, my stitch length. I can change the date and the time. But if we're looking at a zigzag, I can see on my screen any adjustments that I make. And it's going to show me what my stitch is going to look like as I'm making those adjustments. I can also change my tension or the left and the right shift of the needle. Also, if I've created a specialty stitch for myself by combining a couple of different character decorative stitches, I can save them to the memory of the machine and pull them back up at any later time. Now, while this is great, I can see everything that I'm working with on my screen. The Solaris Vision also has a projector built in, so I'm actually going to be able to see this on the bed of the machine and on my fabric before we stitch. So now, as I put my fabric under the needle, I can see the stitch that I've selected, which is my zigzag, and I also have some options. The Solaris Vision comes with this stylus, which is going to allow me to make changes either on the screen, or I can use this to make adjustments to my stitch on the bed of the machine and watch it change in real time, projected down onto my fabric. And I can see what it will look like on my fabric. Now, if I decide I don't really care for that stitch, I can also scroll through to different stitches. And so there we have our blind hem. And I can see what all of those are going to look like by the projector showing me on the bed of my machine. So now we're back to our standard stitching. And one of the things that Baby Lock added with the Solaris Vision is something called end point stitching. So end point stitching means that the machine is going to stop stitching when I tell it to. One of the things that come with the machine is a couple sets of stickers. And for the sewing side, we have these little stickers here. And you can see I've drawn a line at the bottom of my fabric, letting us know where I want my stitching to stop. And I've lined up my sticker with the line on, that I've drawn, drawn on my fabric. So let's pick out a decorative stitch and we'll pick this little flower. Now, once I've chosen my flower, I can go into my stitch settings and let the machine know that I definitely have a place that I want this to stop, and I don't want it to stitch past it. So it's going to stop in the middle of the flower if it needs to, but it's not gonna go past the line I've drawn. So on the bed of the machine, you can see that it's lined up. We have this purple line up here, and that's the machine scanning for this endpoint sticker. So let's go ahead and start stitching our decorative flower. So you can see on the bed of the machine that it is taking a look and scanning and projecting where that endpoint is. And as we get closer to it, it's going to slow down slightly.
and then I can use my tie off and then my thread trimmer that I have on the front of the machine. This is only one of the many features that Baby Lock has added to the Solaris Vision. Another one is the tapering stitches. Our tapering stitches are a lot of fun. You can use them in a decorative capacity. Um, I've seen them used to mend clothing, um, add some fun decoration to binding. So let's take a look at those. So for our tapers, we'll choose this thicker stitch that kind of looks like a rather tight zigzag. But also in my settings, I'm going to let the machine know how I want it to start out and how I want it to end with the taper. So I have the options of different angles, whether I want it to be 60 degrees in the middle, 30 degrees to the left, 60 degrees to the right, 90 degrees up and down. So we'll leave the 60 degrees there at the top and then 60 degrees at the bottom. I can also let it know how I'm going to tell the machine when to taper at the end. One of the options that we have is to use the endpoint sticker that you just saw. Another option is to use the back stitch button, or I can also tell it just how many repeats I want that particular pattern to have. So we're going to use the back stitch button to start out. And as we start stitching, it's going to get bigger and it's also going to show me where we are in the stitch. So that tells me that whenever I want to, I can touch my back stitch button and it's going to start our taper. And then once I'm done, I'll give myself a reinforcement stitch, trim the thread, and it'll lift the presser foot for me. And super fun taper. So the next thing I'd like to show you is the Baby Lock Digital Dual Feed. The Digital Dual Feed is Baby Lock's advanced walking foot that has a motor inside of it and is belt driven. I have it on the machine and all we do is replace the presser foot with the compact digital dual feed and plug it in the back. And what this is really good for is making sure that one, you don't get any stretch on fabric when you're working on the bias that large, thick, dense projects with multiple layers will pull through evenly and hard to work with fabrics will feed evenly under your machine. So let's take a look at several layers of fabric. So we have our 10 ounce denim back and we're gonna start off with using four layers at a time. And I'm gonna fold it up to use six and then I'm all going to let it come down off of those six layers and I can fold it up twice more and go into eight. And it's going to raise up to tackle those eight layers flawlessly. And there we have it. So you don't have to worry about how well this machine is going to do with thicker projects. This is what this is made for. Now, another thing that I would like to show you is the guide beams. Now, the guide beams built into this because of the projector are phenomenal. So when I turn these on, I have a main beam and a subline. My main beam, I can either have a solid line or I can have a single dot. Now, when I put that single dot on the machine, what you're gonna notice is sometimes it'll land on the presser foot, so we have to move it a little bit further away in order to see it. And I can also change the color of my main and my subline. So right now on the bed of the machine, you can see the little red dot. So I can use that for placement and I also have my subline. So when I'm working with my main line, this is going to show me the distance from the center of the needle plate to where I have my main line placed. And again, I can change that back to a solid line. I can change the length of the main and subline and where I have it positioned. And then when I go to the options for the subline, I have a lot of options there too. So whenever we're looking at the width of the subline, what that is showing us is the distance away from the main line. 
So right now, it's set at a quarter inch away from the main line, and the subline is green. So wherever I have this main line, the red one, the green is a quarter inch away from it, and I can use this as a way to show where my needle is gonna land on my fabric, and I can use the subline as my seam allowance guide. I can also create a grid on the machine, which is gonna give me many more options for either seam allowances. Um, and then I also have the option of an angle. So if you're working with the pivot function and you need to turn your fabric, you can use this as your seam allowance. The subline is your seam allowance and the red line as where you're gonna be stitching and where you need to turn and show you when, you, when it's gonna get there um, and let you know when to turn. And I can also turn the subline off. My personal favorite application of this is with half square triangles, particularly in combination with the digital dual feed. The digital dual feed is going to keep my half square triangle from creating bulk on the bias, and my main and sublines are going to show me where my seam allowance is. So I only have to mark my fabric one time, and it's a piece of cake. So let's get set up for stitching a half square triangle. So I'm going to be moving my lines back to the center position and I can also see on my screen where my main and subline are. So I'll be able to tell when it gets back to the center needle position because that's what I have my stitch set at. Now once I have that overlapping my needle position, I'm going to put my subline back on and make sure that it's set at a quarter of an inch away from my main line. Now we'll take our half square triangle and line it up under the presser foot. And I'm gonna line up my center line marked on my half square triangle with my sub line. And I'll know that my red line is where my needle is going to stitch. So all I have to do as I'm stitching this is make sure that my center line lines up with the green line and let the machine feed it through. And once I'm to the end of my row, I'll do a tie off. It'll trim my thread and lift my presser foot for me. And there's my beautiful stitch. And now I'll just go back to the other side, line my center line up with my subline. And the feed dots on this machine are great. With small pieces like this, I don't have to worry that my fabric's not gonna pull through straight. And there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me to learn about the sewing features on the Solaris Vision. Be sure to check out our sister video to this, the embroidery features on the Solaris Vision, and I'll see you over there.